Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video I will demonstrate how to overcome the first hurdle of rebel racing. Beating tier D bosses to advance in tier C. Defeating Madison is not very hard. Follow the racing line carefully until you reach the first corner. Don't release the nitro like Madison. Though it's a straight line, it'll not help in the long run. Even if Madison tries to bump you, do not leave the racing line yet. But in this corner, divert from the racing line. As your car lacks speed due to low performance points in this stage, it's better to steer early. This is called understeering. Release the nitro as you steer the corner. Defeating Bjorn is also not very tough. The tricky part is to be inside of the first turn, as in the next turn you must put your car outside of the turn. After the second turn, it's a long straight line. Release the Nitro anytime as you have already overtaken Bjorn. You have to take a different approach to beat Hatomi. You can take the first turn by two different approaches. I would suggest understeering your car, because your car lacks speed due to low performance points. Don't worry, I'll tell you when to steer late. You have to learn to do oversteering as well. In the second corner try to slide and bump into the opponent's car. I would suggest releasing the Nitro here. It's the same track as in round 2 with Bjorn. Just remember to be inside of the first turn. Difficulties start with round 5. At the very start of the race, you have to steer slightly left to follow the racing line. First corner is relatively easy, but here is the hack. It'll be immensely helpful if you can put your car right behind Tyler's car. This is called drafting. It'll help to gain speed. Now after the second turn, position your car right of Tyler's. You have to be inside of the curve. Now steer early and release the nitro immediately. In round 6, the track is the same as round 2 and 4. Depending on your car's performance points, you'll overtake at turn number 2. Last round is the same track as round 3. This time it's difficult, but don't worry. I intentionally chose to race with lower performance points than the opponents to illustrate the hack. Congratulations! You have got a tier C car. 
Thanks for watching, and please do subscribe for more videos.